back! Take cover! Velkommen til Films TV. I denne uge er det biografpremieret på den seneste film af australske Peter Weir, The Way Back. Weir er en af nye tids helt store instruktører. Manden bag film som Døde på Eders Klub, The Truman Show og Vidnet. Og du kan netop nu gå ind på hjemmesiden og finde Søren Ilveds artikel om Weirs karriere. The Way Back er baseret på den angiveligt sande historie om en række fanger på et sovjetisk gulag, som undslipper fangenskab og dernæst begiver sig ud på en 6.500 km rejse gennem Asien for at nå frem til friheden. Du kan se vores anmeldelse af filmen i fredagens Films TV udsendelse, men i dagens program præsenterer vi en række interviews med Weir og filmens skuespillere, som Scanbox har været så venlige at stille til rådighed. Planning on surviving on half rations, son? Look, he's an old man. I'm an old man. We'll be alive in the morning. He won't. Kindness. That can kill you here. Inside those gulags was almost another world. That is where were Soviet citizens arrested, particularly under Stalin, mainly under Stalin. And as the Second World War developed, prisoners or those in occupied territories, some of them, were interned in these concentration camps and they endured uh, unimaginable suffering. So this is a story of a group who break out. Didn't happen very often. They can only go south because, you, you know, north is to the further frozen Siberia. Uh, east uh, is Soviet all the way to the Pacific. West is either Soviet or Nazi. South, the only hope of freedom. But what a journey. And this group has to travel, the group is initially six or seven of them, south through Siberia to Mongolia, China, Tibet, and ultimately India. And you kind of know when they set off that it's told to you that they won't all make it. And I love a line from the central character, Janusz, the Jim Sturgis character, who says, but they'll die free men. And I thought it was a fair, a fair gamble, and I'd like to think I would have gone. It's hard for someone like me who's lived such a fortunate life to, to fathom um, living under conditions like that. Of course, that's your job, you know, imagination. You use your imagination and, and you base your, your thoughts on, on the experiences of others. What do you want? People inherently, as a human race, inevitably we, we need to rely on each other. Uh, sometimes it takes the most extreme of situations for that truth to be revealed. And it certainly is for all the characters. Uh, my fellow in particular, Valka, has never really relied on anybody but himself, I don't think. And he finds himself in something of a, of a quandary um, that he is reliant on, on these other people, people whose paths he would never have crossed in his normal life outside of the Gulag system or within the Gulag system. Peter's faster than us all. He's faster than us all. He's first up out of his seat by the monitor to go into the actors or to go into Lorenzo or, or Russell or whoever. Um, he may feel he needs some part something uh, based on what he's seen. And he's just, he's really phenomenal. He's really phenomenal. I mean, he's obviously incredibly smart, incredibly decent, decent man. But it is his excitement and his love of the story. And I remember in the beginning when we were doing the Gulag stuff, we started off the shoot doing exterior Gulag and did that for about 10 days or so. And uh, we had one shot where there was 100 extras marching out to do the day's labor. And I remember him with the Bulgarian translator talking to the extras about uh, how important it was and what a, uh, not only an honor, but a responsibility it was to do as, as best as they could. And of course he was talking to us as well, or I assumed he was. He was talking to everyone that was, that was gonna be part of this film, really. That it is, without getting high and mighty about it, it is an obligation and it is a responsibility because you're talking about a very dark time in history. You're talking about hundreds of thousands, millions of lives that were ruined. One of the things I like about Peter is that, you know, his mind doesn't stop working. He's a, he's a, a 
forward thinking, forward looking, progressive kind of individual, and um, you know he keeps he's, he loves to learn. He's very interested in things, and the reason that I like working with Peter, the reason that one of the reasons that I have so much confidence in him as a director is that he's incredibly thorough. I mean, you know, uh, and, and not anally so, just, you know, just to make it real and to, to give it, to give it, to create this world that he's trying to capture on film. What is it? Someone's been following us. He's up behind that dark clump of trees. Yeah. He gives us the way they'll be all over us in no time. He's right. We have to do this. No killing. No? I think you've killed before. You say too many prayers for an innocent man. Well, Carl, yeah. you go behind in case he makes a run for it. Go. Yeah. Everyone, spread out. Spread out. I started after everyone else. So all the guys had already been working together for about a month, I think, in Bulgaria. And um, and I remember I I was really nervous. As I said earlier, I, I was nervous about starting and whether suddenly I was just going to be a crap actress and <laughs> I wasn't going to be able to do a good job. And, um, and I went into Colin Farrell's trailer and I said to him how nervous I was. And you know, Colin has been around a long time and he's a very um, well-known actor and very established and uh, he's he's done a lot of good work. And he told me that before every job, he gets nervous too and whether people are gonna like him and, and all that kind of stuff. And, um, and so that kind of put me at ease a little bit. And once I walked on set and had my first day with these great guys and and Peter, of course, it was, it was like I was a little sister. All the sort of inspiration and all the qualities that I needed to find for sort of my character and for Janusz were sort of all there in Peter and, and, and as, our, as our director. So, I mean, you know, he would talk to me a lot about, you know, this burning enthusiasm that Janusz needed to have and this sort of wild, infectious desire to just sort of keep, keep moving and keep going and, and Pete was exactly like that. I mean, he had all those, all those qualities. You know, you'd sort of, you'd come in to work at God knows what hour in the morning, not knowing what, you know, whatever the weather was throwing at us or the, the elements or the terrain. And he was always there with a big smile on his face and this sort of look in his eye. And you sort of would have just done anything, really. The sense of camaraderie with all the rest of the actors, you know, came in time, you know, and the great thing about the film is that we were able to shoot it kind of chronologically to an extent, you know, so we started off in the Gulag where we really didn't really know each other that well, you know, so it w and it was very disorientating, certainly for me, you know, you're amongst all these people, you don't really know anybody, there's a lot of foreign languages being spoke all around you and you feel quite kind of isolated and at that time we really hadn't made those bonds and those connections that you make later on as you go through the journey. And of course as the journey sort of went and we we sort of we endured so many different you know, we battled so many elements and we were up against such difficult times at places and saw some of the most amazing landscapes together and and of course, you know, that bond starts to sort of come in and come in strong. It was definitely one of the most exhilarating things I've ever done. It was definitely one of the most exhausting things I've ever done. You know, it's the coldest I've ever been and the hottest I've ever been. Um, I was put in some of the most confined spaces that I've ever been in and seen some of the most vast open landscapes I've ever seen. So, you know, it, it, it definitely felt more than just making a film. You know, it was a all-out life-changing experience for me, definitely. I don't know about you, but I like it when you have seen a film and you're still thinking about it next morning, and maybe even longer. And some rare ones you remember all your life. 
So that's what I hope, that it's one of those films that you don't walk out and say, um, you know, that it was like, you know, eating some very light meal, you know, and say, I still feel hungry. <laughs> so and I'd like to think that you forget where you park the car. And that's because you say, I'm, I'm still with this film, I'm somewhere in <laughs> tra traipsing across the mountains. Um, I'd like to have, as somebody said to me the other day, they said, uh, my wife and I, uh, this morning, I said to my wife, are you thinking about that film? And she said, I am. And I said, wow, what a wonderful reaction. Husk, du let kan finde alle vores Films TV udsendelser på hjemmesiden under Films TV fanebladet. De ligger også i high definition på videovideo.dk, hvor du også kan finde flere udsendelser af Railgun TV, vores web TV program om spilverdenen. Du kan også læse flere anmeldelser og artikler på films, som du kan diskutere i vores omfattende forum.